would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. It's Sunday, August 25th, 2024. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Welcome to Cubs Out Loud, the beer podcast of Interim Length, episode number 752. And due to a certain pivot and the, the some distracted co-host uh we're here with the uh, uh something that normally we do at the beginning of the next month now i totally forgot where i put the thing where did i put the thing oh there it is uh, happy oh. staycation it's time Ooh. for recitation I don't think that's an actual song anywhere, but Ooh, here I am. Nice. I got to work for two weeks. And now I don't have to work for two weeks. I finished one week. I have another week. What have I been doing? Absolutely nothing but playing video games. Should I be doing, doing more than that or getting a few, you know, tasks done? Yes. Have I? No. Do I regret it? A little. But Not yet. Know. And by the way, I'm still 43. For now. Mm -hmm. Currently. At the moment. Give me a few days. For now. <laughs> Honestly, that's all I have. That, that, that's it. Mm. David. Yay. So while you have not done too much, I have been busy every weekend this month, um, including into the future. So let's see. The first weekend of August was World Bear Weekend, where Jim and I went to Lexington, Kentucky um, to uh, support Adam and all of them that do World Bear and also um, for me specifically to um, cheer on some local folks that were running. So congratulations to Luna, Luna Bones, um, who is your now your world Ms. Bear or Ms. World Bear, excuse me, 2024. And to my friend, my pup Balti, who is now the world pet 2024. Uh, um, another one of our friends, uh, Mischief, um, was running but did not, um, unfortunately, win World Cub, but that's fine. There's a wonderful um, title family that includes another friend of mine, TK, um, who is now the World Bear uh, 2024. Um, and then Marcus Keys is World Cub 2024. So that's the title family this year. Congratulations to them. Woo, 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 woo. Um, after that, the next weekend. Um, God, I had a blast. There you go. Um, after that, uh, I had the following weekend, I had uh, the men's chorus was having their board retreat. So I spent Saturday, fr well, Friday night had a meet and greet. And Saturday was a um, getting down to create our strategic plan for the next couple of years. So uh, we're looking for goals to potentially accomplish in the next few years, and that's going to be that was part of the idea of doing that. So, woohoo! Um, that part. Uh, the weekend after that, 
um, was since Night Leather Weekend, where um, I was a judge and was able to step aside from my title um, as um, Mr. Sensei Letter 2023. So I stepped aside and welcomed another friend, um, uh, Boy Mayura, into the, my, who's now my title son or our title son, Ian Trailers, who was on the show with us. Um, welcomed him into the title family. Uh, so that's cool. He is Mr. Sensei Leather 2024. Yay. That that was a that was a busy weekend, but a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself. Um, this past weekend um, uh, was um, Onyx Great Lakes. I spent a lot of time with them. Uh, Jim and I went to Dayton Saturday morning um, to for me to watch the current pledges, the legendary twelve line. Um, do their demos and then get voted on, and they are all now full brothers of Honest Great Lakes, so kudos to them. They had a bar night that Saturday evening um, at Argos, where uh, it was a lot of fun. They, they're a great line. They had a lot of ideas, and they implemented them well. There was a there's our traditional like raffle and like split apart raffle and jello shots. But one of the things that they, they did specifically that I was impressed by was so one of the pledges and now full members, so full brothers, um, like to bake. So he made some cookies and they put them in, in you know, packs of three and um, sold them. And the money that was, that, that was brought from that was raised for a charity. So kind of really great idea, awesome idea. Um, People are hungry at the bar sometimes, and it's good to have a nice little sweet snack. So um, I think it went really well. They were, they were pretty good cookies. They are really good cookies, too. Um, and uh, finally, this technically won't happen until the 31st, so timey-wimey being what it is. Actually, not we're not timey-wimey this because we're live. Uh, so this weekend, or the weekend coming up soon, um, Jim and I are going on our honeymoon. So um, we will be spending four days in Vegas, um, and then we'll be spending four days in Puerto Vallarta. And um, yeah, so I will talk more about that in September. <laughs> right. But as I said, it's been a busy fucking month. Um, I am... Kind of tired, <laughs> I will admit. Um, I uh, we had dinner just a little bit ago, and I was sitting on the couch, and I'm like, if I don't move, I'm going to fall asleep. So <laughs> I, I got up and started moving so I could be here. I wasn't on time, but I, yeah. So that's okay. Yay! You, you, you were somebody else wasn't here. You you were here before yeah. somebody else. So yeah, that's that's been my month. Gary. Um. So that's a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. I was like looking at the calendar. I was like, were there that many weekends to make that possible? But um. So, anyways. I, I, I want to clarify something. Yes, I was distracted earlier. But listen, if <laughs> you saw this video of Jason Kelsey, like, <laughs> you'd also probably be distracted. So <laughs> I think I get a pass. I'm just saying. There you okay, go. Okay, that's fair. That's there fair. you go. That's fair. I mean, it's just fucking gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways. And he's on a podcast with Shaq. I don't even mm. fully understand this concept, but they're sitting in a restaurant apparently. And for some reason, I'm guessing Hellman's is the sponsor because there's all these bottles of different kinds of Hellman's sitting in front of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah. So yeah, you had a busy month. Sure did. Sure um, did. Yeah. I did a whirlwind travel uh, trip for six days out to Los Angeles Ooh. and came back and I'm okay. I'm, I, it's funny because I've traveled before to the West coast, what twice 
Yeah. And I don't remember having any type of jet lag or whatever, but this time, and it could have been that I left later West coast and got in. And by the time, well, when we landed officially back on the East coast, it was the next day. Mm. Cause it was after midnight. And then I had to yeah. like you know, get the luggage and get the car and drive home. And that was an adventure because I was hungry Oh. And I hadn't like eaten since I was in Denver. Mm. And so I'm trying to find places to stop and get food at two thirty in the morning, driving on the highway. <laughs> Not a fucking thing's open except for truck stops. Uh so that was an adventure. But um yeah, so LA was interesting. It was I can now say that I've been there. Woohoo. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I mean, like, I, I didn't, I intentionally didn't go do any sightseeing. I didn't care about sightseeing. Um, but a lot of people that I was around, some folks I kind of knew, some folks I didn't, I, I met while I was there. They were like, that was the big deal because they'd never been to Los Angeles before. So they wanted to go see the stars on the Walk of Fame. They wanted to go see the Hollywood sign. They wanted to go to, uh, Beverly Hills they want like all these things and I'm just like eh like I didn't care that much the one thing I kind of wanted to do I wasn't able to and that bummed me out and then while I was there I found out that there was a showing a screening of the celluloid closet oh um, and it was sort of a fundraiser event activity and I was like oh I liked that film I was like that would might be a nice gay thing to go do like to go see the LA gays like what you know that are into <laughs> to movies or whatever and then I looked online and I was like okay how far away is it okay so it's like a two and a half hour walk oh god uh, or I could get a ride share and it would be roughly $50 each way ooh and I was like not my fat ass. So <laughs> I did not go to that thing. I was actually kind of okay with. Um, yeah. Yeah. One of those things. I will say this though. Damon, you kind of know this part. The highlight of my trip. Because we had this conversation, I think, off air. So when I landed in LA, I had this really wicked, like, pinched nerve muscle oh, thing kind of happening yeah. with my shoulder. And my neck and it was bothering me and I just landed and I was like, uh, no, 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 I am here for six days. I cannot, I cannot like deal with this. And, you know, I'm thinking of my chiropractor. I'm out on the West coast. I don't know anybody. I mean, I could have probably, you know, found a massage therapist relatively easily, but it was just one of these things. And while I was there on the um, credenza, whatever you want to call it, in the hotel room, there's this little sign for the hotel that I'm at, this little, like, you know, sandwich cart thing. And it says that because it's like a resort style hotel, and I didn't pick the hotel, the, the reason that I was out there, the host um, event had picked the hotel. Anyways, this hotel was promoting that they had these, like, um, I don't even know what you want to call them. They were like health and wellness package things mm -hmm. that you could rent from the hotel. And in essence, they're supposed to be used like after workouts. And but you read that you read the thing and then you read the small print and it says for a nominal fee. And I was like, bitch, what the fuck is a nominal fee? Like that is that is not a description. <laughs> so I go on the app because they have an app and you can request one like reserve it. So I do that. And then I'm thinking the front desk is going to call me and be like, hey, we have it ready. And then I can ask my questions because, like, nowhere can I find any cost stuff. That's not true. I did find out that if I wanted to buy this kit, it was $777. Wow. Right. And I was like, okay, so what is a nominal fee? Like $77? Like 10% of the actual cost is how much you're going to charge me for this thing? And the thing was it had – um in essence, a massage gun, a, uh -huh. a percussion like device, um, and a uh, well, it had two. One was the shape of a gun. The other one was a sphere. And then it also had these. Um, well, they were kind of percussion, but not actually. They weren't percussion. They had these inflatable leg wraps 
that were like Velcro, like battery operated. So like if you've ever had to have surgery and you've been in the hospital and they're concerned about blood clots or whatever, they'll put these devices on your legs that like use air pressure that like inflate and they basically kind of massage your like muscles. So mm. it was like this kit of all these things. So anyways, I like wait about an hour or so and I don't hear from the front desk and I'm kind of annoyed. So I use the app and I send a, a, a chat question. And I was like, hey, like what about this thing that I requested? And they said, oh, you have to go down and pick it up from the front desk. Ah, Okay. Well, I guess that's uh -huh. how I found out how much it costs. So I go down to the front desk and the woman's like, and actually she was giving to like, she was not having a good day. <laughs> and a part of me was like, sweetheart, I like, I, I didn't say this to her, but it was like, I don't know if you're weave too tight, but like, this is not the time nor the place. I am the guest. <laughs> like, so I'm, I'm feeling a little, irked because of her attitude but anyway she goes and she gets the thing and then she comes back with it she got these long nails so she's like trying to open the zipper and like do this thing anyways and then she's like so all the cords over here she's like the charging stuff this 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 that she goes there's a piece of paper you have to sign she's like there's a, a one-time fee now she said there's a fee and i said yeah about that and she goes it's, it's five dollars i said what she said yeah it's five dollars she goes and that's not per day it's just five dollars for your stay like from when you turn it in Wow. I was like, say what? <laughs> so I was like, yes, yes, I'm like, I will, yes, yes ma'am. I will, I will, I will sign that piece of paper for the $5 to borrow the thing. Um, best investment ever in my life on any like travel because I took it back to the room. Everything was dead. That annoyed the shit out of me. So I had to plug everything in, get it to charge. And of course, it takes a couple hours. It take, you know, right away. But that percussion handgun thing, oh, Mary, it will knock the shit out of you. Like, <laughs> like if it and if it hits bone, it ricochets. Uh huh. Like it's meant for soft tissue for muscle. But if it like you know, like if you hit your elbow or whatever, like the gun jerks away because of the uh -huh. of the percussion like mechanism. It's kind of wild, but saved my life like you cannot believe like i just like beat the shit out of my neck and my shoulders and like <laughs> my arms like yeah and i found out if you're standing upright and you're using it at a certain point if you hit certain parts of your neck that are close to your skull you'll give yourself vertigo and you'll practically fall over so ah. <laughs> best best do that while sitting yeah <laughs> It was interesting. Um, but let me tell you, for $5 for those six days, baby, that was, like, like that's better than Taco Bell. Like, like I mean, it was just <laughs> so cheap and so good. Like, I was so, like, and I was a good, I was a good person. I made sure all the stuff was fully charged when I put it back in the case. And it was, you know, powered off or whatever. And, you know, the, mm -hmm. so hopefully the next guest could use it. But, man, highly endorse it. So much so that I looked online and I was like, how much would this cost if I bought this? And I, I have it on a wish list, like, hiding. Because I also found out that technically the the gun thing might be, uh -huh. I might be able to use my HSA on it. Ah. Oh, so that's good. Fun. So that's probably going to be a gift when I get to end of year here in a couple months if I have money left that I need to spend. So, but yeah, uh, LA was interesting. Um, we talked about it a bunch in a different episode. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, yeah. So that was the big thing that happened this month. And then right before I left, we had our pride picnic. Um, it was nice to have uh, my co-kitchen uh, bitch in charge, so to speak, uh, come back and join me. They'd been gone for a couple of years. They had another commitment, but they came back and, uh, we had a good, we had a good, good time. So yeah. And then all hell broke loose at work. Uh Oh, uh -oh. I was gone for six oh, days yeah. You, and yeah, I came you back. That. Yeah. And I came back and it got real crazy this past week. So Maybe for after show. <laughs> um, well, I'll describe some stuff. Yeah, I'll describe some stuff later. But let's just say 
it was funny because my boss was like, I'm so sorry that you have to deal with all this stuff now that you're back. And I was like, well, you know, I said, this is kind of the adage of why maybe people don't take vacations. Not that this was a vacation technically, but you know, it's like you you have concerns about being gone from your job. Because mm-hmm. Things. So I'm very that. curious how being away for a week plus is going to be. Cause I don't come back to work until the 10th of September. Right. And see, uh, you and I, Damon, are probably the two least likely to take extended times. Jeff always takes his vacation, you know, around his birthday at this time every single year. Mm -hmm. So, like, for him, he's got this down pat. He's been doing this for probably, what, a decade or more now. And (laughs) I'm like, no, actually, actually, it's only been two years since I've I've set up my my annual staycation. Ah, I thought you've been doing this for quite a while. No, I think I tried to take some time off, but not, like, blow 10 days of my PPO off on it. Right, Besides the fact that previously, um, before 2018, 2018? Yeah, 2018, I was on contract jobs. So taking days off was not as feasible. Yeah, that's true. No, yeah, I get that. Like, trust me, like, I... I have four months left in the year and not a lot of free floating time, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, And I was like, I have all my time kind of planned out. Um, Oh, and then there was another thing that just happened like this past week. Um, My dad had a medical issue. Mm. So that was a whole rigmarole. He's fine. He's doing well. But like, it's one of those like, is this going to turn into a hospital stay? Like, what is this going to be? Like, do right, I have to right, right. work? And I'm blessed that my job allows me to use my sick time, a, a certain percentage of my sick time for family things. Right. So it doesn't have to be explicitly me. Um, so, like, I can use it for medical appointments, and I do. But I can also, like, when you put in the time, you can say family as opposed to personal. So I uh, decided... Like I'm looking at my, and I have a bunch of time, but it was just one of those, like, I just got back and I'm trying to play catch up. And I felt like I spent at least the first half or th- well, almost three quarters of the week trying to catch up on a whole bunch of things from when I was out. Um, so I'm hoping this week, I keep looking at the wrong month. I keep looking at September. I'm like, wrong month, not yet. Um, I'm hoping this week by the end of this coming week, I'll be like back on track. Hopefully. We'll see. And it's wild to me. In a week, it's going to be the holiday weekend. Mm-hmm. Already. I'm like, what the hell? You know? Yeah. Yeah, I come back on the holiday. Mm. Easy. Oh. <sighs> There's that. Um, oh, as a quick aside, I think I might have mentioned it to you guys. Um, I did finally get a hold of the local company for fiber internet because I've been ah. wanting it for years had a nice conversation with them they have to talk to my landlord because they actually own the property not me um so i'm hoping my landlord's gonna be really nice and let me get fiber um and my next door neighbor also wants it um i'm also hoping that they won't charge us more for our rent because of it because technically Mm -hmm. it doesn't cost them anything it just costs me um so yeah i might also be considering refinancing my my new car oh did i tell you guys that i got a new car at the end of last year I think yeah, we just yeah. I discussed that one time. Anyways, um, I'm a member of a credit union, and they've been sending me these solicitations, and they're like, you can refi your auto. And I'm like, hmm, <laughs> I might be willing refi. to do that. I just wish the interest rates were lower. That's always the case, isn't it? Well, you know. Yeah, it's one of those things. Oh, and the other thing, uh, just uh, sorry, I keep going on. Um, as a random aside, I don't want to hopefully have to talk a lot about this in the near future. Um, MPOX is on the rise and uh mm-hmm. the world is growing um very uncomfortable about the rise in cases and like what's yep. going on with it and it's the and... more deadly clade uh not to get too much into the science but they're what are, there's called clade one and clade two and th- the exposure wave we had two summers ago in 2022 was clade two clade one is the one that's like more dominant in the dominican or uh, sorry in the democratic republic of congo Democratic mm. Congress, public. Anyways, um, 
anyways, it's uh, starting to spread around the world. And that's becoming alarming. So if you are a person who is sexually active, and we don't know if these cases yet are linked to sexual activities or not, it's typically not, it can just be touch. But um, if you haven't gotten your Genios vaccine or your both of your doses, please consider doing so as soon as possible. Because that's all we got at the moment. Already done. So that's on the the forefront as well. Even though it's not HIV, which is my predominant field, it can be it's problematic. an STI that has a potential. Well, it's not an STI. It is a potential STI. It's something that, that could affect our community. Right. Well, it, and persons living with HIV, they have suppressed immune systems. So mm-hmm. that any of that kind of stuff. Um, and if you hadn't heard it is your public health message. Last thing, COVID, uh, there are new uh, vaccines that are coming on the forefront. They should be available in the next couple of weeks. These ones are supposed to be much more effective about the current wave that has been taking people out across the country, in case you didn't know. Uh, I went to the convention, came back, and got asked by people if I had COVID. And I said no. And they said why? And they said, oh, a bunch of people that you were with did. <laughs> well, well, I don't know. A couple thousand people in one place congregated, flying through metal tubes in the air with recirculated air. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Hence, I masked both ways ah, and see. back intentionally because i was like not taking chances because two years ago damon i got COVID, and it was because of that small child on a plane screaming and wailing next to me anyways (laughs) and that's my story i'm sticking to it (laughs) wow with that wow let's get into some theater Damon, what's been going on over in the Yub Tubs? Ooh, there is a thing from um, at Cherneo Bright underscore Blight Shade on COL 401. 410. Interest, four, four, 410, not 401. I can read. <laughs> <laughs> um, which was our um, Under Bears podcast crossover at df13 and then they ask what happened to the under bears podcast almost all of their episodes on vimeo aren't there anymore i miss them and then there's a link hyperlink to so um, them i so, put yeah. the link in just so like we have it for a record um for those ah. that Paul, there was a podcast for a, sh- a number of years, a handful of years, I want to say, called Under Bears, the Under Bears podcast. Um, and two of the guys that were kind of the main hosts on it, they used to be on Bear Podcast with um, mm-hmm. Ray and Nard years ago because they were lived in Texas in the same area um, that Ray and Nard did. So they kind of went off and did their own thing. But interestingly, they chose the Vimeo platform as their like – like home Mm -hmm. as opposed to YouTube. But it might have to do with the fact that every episode, it was a bunch of bears sitting around in their underwear. Right. So if you, so what happened was they, um, David and Jason, two of the Mm -hmm. hosts, there was like four, four hosts, two of them came to drench fur. And so we did a crossover episode and I videotaped and there's like eight of us. And Oh my God, we were young and we were babies. Um, like sitting in our underwear in a hotel ballroom <laughs> doing a <laughs> podcast show. It's kind of wild to see it. I was like, oh, yep, there's me in just my underwear and socks looking strange. Anyways, um, yeah, that was the thing. So to the point of the question, um, I haven't seen or heard from them in years as far as the podcast. They kind of stopped doing shows. I don't think they ever really formally made an announcement. And yes, like if you go to the link that I included, there's only two episodes left. And I think it's their last two episodes. Um, And they didn't post every week. They posted like maybe once a month, I want to say, or something. So I I don't know. I haven't seen or heard from them in quite some time. I don't know what uh, is going on in their lives. Um, But... Mm. Yeah, we did. Hmm. We did. We kind of did a thing a long time ago, and then Gosh. I'm looking at this and I'm like, "Yeah, that was some time ago." That was when I had my my mohawk style cut. Yeah, 
Yeah. Like, Which I could get. I was like, kind of miss. Like, oh wow, that was a, that's a thing. That was a thing that happened. There's things that happened. That was almost over a decade that's ago. A... Right. It was back in 2015. Oh, really? Wow, that is a long time ago. Okay. Um. Zero four ten. Huh, 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 huh. Yeah, so that's a, that's a blast from the past. Like, as a, as a question oh. about what happened. So, uh, Cherno, uh, Cherneo, we, I don't know. I have, I got nothing. I haven't seen or talked to any of those guys. Uh, well, I would say the, f- I only knew two out of the four. There's right. two couples basically. Um, and I haven't seen David or Jason in twenty seventeen. So. Okay, yeah, twenty seventeen sounds much more realistic. Mixed, like, wait, what? I'm getting mixed messages because. I just went to, I searched Under Bears podcast and found a blogger post where they talk about the conversation with you and Gabe at Drench Fur. And maybe yeah, they're, this is they, a different one. they talked, okay. That, yeah, okay. No. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I think, I, well, David and, had been to the run a couple of years and then I think he and Jason, after they got together, they came like once or twice together as a couple. Anyways. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, it's interesting interesting. to to think back. Yeah. To that. So yeah, that was like seven years ago, which is that timing sounds about right. Um, yeah, that was the infamous Rocky horror year. Mm. Sorry, Barry, Barry horror picture show whatever we we were trying hard to not like you know have copyright and you know infringement nice, types. nice. but yeah that's fair it was the spooky thing in any nice. case over on twitterverse uh we had a new follower with the uh, giannis mo three six five five two thank mm-hmm. you for giving us your zip code Oh my. Meanwhile, we have a bunch of patrons. We do. Uh, this is a little early since we're not doing it technically on the first Sunday of the month. Um, so happy upcoming two year Patreon anniversary to Michael K, who joined us two years ago on September 1st at the Cubster level as a Yay. patron. So in just like over a week. Oh, no, a week to today, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Michael's anniversary is coming up. So, uh, but we also want to recognize uh, Big Bear Cub Hugs to our patrons at the Cubster level, Charles W. and Michael K. At the Uber level, we've got Dave T., Lee, and Michael Q. And then our buddies, Lloyd G. and Michael V. Um, patrons, if you happen to be listening and or watching, double check in, uh, your messages because we asked to make sure that you have your right address because we're going to send you some things. Uh, my co-host kind of knows some of the stuff um, that's going out. So, yeah, I'm pleased I'm going to get that wrapped up here and send those things out to you. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your support. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And uh, despite the fact that there's uh, three paychecks this month for me, uh, very... <laughs> Uh, it seems to have been a short month in, in shows. Well, so when you only have four Sundays and you use the first one and the last one to do the same kind of thing, you only get a little bit in between. It's a bit of a sandwich month. So uh, CAL 749 was the what's going on for July 24, 2024. And then CAL 750 was our milestone unlocked um, recognition episode. And last week was let's talk about series Open Relationships Today. It was episode 751, and that linked back to my L.A. trip. And if you don't understand what that is, then go have a listen or a watch. Yeah. You'll find out how my experience in La La Land uh, prompted a discussion about open relationships. It involves Gary being a hoe. It does not. <laughs> now, don't be selling a false bill of goods, Damon, over there. I don't think that technically happened. I don't think I was a hoe. 
I think I was getting a, a, a taste of the landscape. <laughs> Which probably sounds, sounds worse. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Just, just yeah. there. That's okay. We haven't gotten to it yet, but I'm letting everybody know. This coming Saturday, August 31st, uh, we're celebrating Jeff's birthday. So Woo. if you've been around for a while, you will remember that we used to do these things called Power Hours. Um, Damon and Jeff have both been on the the the, the, da, the dastardly like end the of that. For us, the end of that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we don't quite do it that way anymore. We turned it into a happy hour because not everybody necessarily needs to drink uh, an ounce of alcohol every minute for sixty minutes straight. We're 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 just getting old. <laughs> I mean, and I don't drink that often anymore, anyway. So, right, right. Yeah, I used to always um, have some I, vodka and some soda around. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, yeah. not anymore. And for and and for me, um, not only is drinking like I, I won't do it anymore after the the trauma of of the last one, um, but uh, well, one of the last ones. But also, I have learned as I have lost weight that um, alcohol hits you harder. Um, so to who I have to be really careful mm-hmm. about how much and how much and how quick I drink. Um, like this weekend, being out at the bar, um, I had two drinks, not in quick succession, but I then had also had three Jello shots. And I'm like, that's good. That was perfect. It was just enough to get that nice little little bit of a buzz on, and then we went home. Or to the hotel, I should say. Just a little buzzy, nice little buzz. Definitely. Yeah, I will. I will agree that your body size has a factor on your blood alcohol level, and uh, yeah, that's yes. that's a thing. Yes, yes, it does. <sighs> so, anyways, all right. Maybe, um, maybe I should. But just... yeah, coming up this Saturday is going to be uh, the twelfth. Get some beer. Birthday thing show that we're doing. Maybe with I should Jeff, get some so. beer and try to do a mini version of it. Mm. I think if you would like to imbibe in some beverages at your own pace, you are welcome to do so. Yeah, it's just, just a thought, thought experiment. Maybe it's been a while. Anyways, I guess that only means one thing. Time for this. <laughs> There you go. That's enough of that. Damon, what do you got? Um, I have two. One is from Daddy Bull 2020. It says, My Pleasure Son. And it is um, a black and white uh, photo of the ever sexy Daddy Bull. I mean, he's just gorgeous, gorgeous fucking man. Um, and he's got like a suit coat and a button down shirt that's open and he is revealing that he has on a jock underneath and he's smoking a cigar and it's just like, like ping, 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 all of the, all of the buttons being and like apparently all the switches. apparently you have to be able to follow his, be following his account to even see it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, shit. Yeah, at Daddy Bull 2020 has his profile at lockdown. So if you are not already following him, well, this link will not be visible. And if you request to follow him, he has to approve your your request. So, so I guess do any of you follow him besides me? No, nope. Well, <laughs> fuck me. Although for fuck some reason I'm running. getting this account doesn't exist. Hmm. I found it. Well, that being said, you know what? We're just going to skip that one. We're just going to th- throw that one just right away. <laughs> Boop. Cause... Okay. Like, it's it's just amusing to me. I was like, oh, apparently I don't follow them. And now I've requested, yeah. but we'll see. We'll see. I'll probably, <laughs> out, of, out of Jeff and I, I'll probably get approved without anything. Because a lot of people think when they see Garbear, they think cigars. Right. In fact, somebody but, just again on a social media app or whatever just like was like, "Oh, I'd I'd love to have a cigar with you sometime." And I'm like, oh, "Okay." So the next one is actually a video share from at den underscore done underscore. Um, 
the oh. and I don't know if this is actually a um it may be somebody I don't know anyway he may be someone that shares a lot of just like random stuff it looks like like um it looks like he shares a oh shit um sorry <laughs> um he shares a lot of it looks like like celebrity and and you know bear types what yeah but in the no, video, I just started listening to it, and I just heard him yeah. talk about because of his body, some people would think of him as a bear, and I was like, "Hell yeah, the man knows this yeah. stuff." So Jason Kelsey is in this video, and he's talking with, um, I don't know, some kid. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, a, I don't pay, I'm Josh here of um, uh, Good Mythical Kitchen. Ah, well, there you uh, go. So it, the, this is his. This is from his episode of Last Meals. Ah. Where he How did I not purpose. see this one? You haven't seen this one? I don't know. It's from a year ago. Yeah. I saw it. But yeah. Uh, but he's talking with, with this um, person and <laughs> it's Jason Josh, Kelsey. Yeah. And he's talking about like being um, a, a bear and liking berries and, and, and all of that. And then there's a, there's a line that is said near the end. So. Girl, girl, yeah. I think I just turned yeah. the line. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I gotta turn the volume all the way over. Listen to that. I'm like, what did he just say? Well, that's gonna be disappointing to people like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you say the line? Because it's been a while since I watched this, and obviously, I power bottoming. He, he said but, he power. mutters under his breath something about being a power bottom, oh. and then Josh, the co the the host, is like, "Listen, both of us learned from your podcast episode what power bottoming bottoming is." And Jason Kelsey is just like howling in laughter, and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> like this gorgeous man. I mean, he could be a bottom, but. Yeah. Anyways, he he. I don't think he would be, but that's that's not a point. But that's just me, maybe being. You know, it doesn't matter to me per se. No, well, I can totally but see. Like he, he's in that position. Yeah. Do you know what I just realized? He reminds yeah. me a little bit of Adrian. Oh God. <laughs> it's his face. Kind it's of. Face. Yeah. Structure. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. I can see that. A little bit of dead. Yeah, I can see that. Anyways, now I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to watch. Jason Kelsey eats his last meal. This man, he's so fine. He's just, for me personally, proportionally good. Like mm -hmm. tall, broad shoulders, bigger build. And of course, he's a sweetheart. He has a really great personality. Nice big bushy yeah. beard. All that jazz. Yeah. He, 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 is, he, is, he is like super quintessential. Like definitely like, like himbo bear like type I just, it, there's so much yeah and i think that's the best part um he see like the things i've seen him in the things i see that he does oftentimes he seems to just be having like the funnest time and i think that's what maybe draws more people to him in a way yes um and that i am and yes, he's you know from from a from a purely physical standpoint, guys, H O T T fucking hot, like like just like I would do pretty much anything. I won't say everything, but I would do pretty much anything. Yeah, I also just realized something else. Watching him put a shirt on. Yeah, I just realized. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized something else about him. He's got the 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 like muscle mass kind of build of Jack Radcliffe. Oh, that I think is the allure for a bunch of us of a certain age who were sold that like imagery. Uh huh. Like, like that hyper masculine kind of thing or whatever. Like. Because he just he was putting a shirt on and it's got like the the Rocky theme in the background, and I'm like, kind of ignoring the theme. But I looked at him and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I yeah. see it. Anyways, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Anyways, yeah, there's, he, there's he's, yeah, he's super fucking hot. But that, that, that's my share. Uh, I will leave alone. I will remove the other share for now. Um, I had, I you had forgotten. You could leave it there. It's just... Oh, it's already gone. I already deleted it. Okay. <laughs> that is to the to those who are watching live and to to um, everyone else that heard me talk about it. It will not be on the show. Sorry, guys. But you get his name, Daddy Bull 2020. Um, if you want to reach out and try to be friends with him, you can try. You can certainly try. Um, Good I luck. Realize when I couldn't share it. No, anyway, I probably couldn't tell. Gary, sorry, I'm busy scrolling yeah. through Den Duns. <laughs> yeah. This Stop. man is infatuated with two very specific NFL players. No shit. And I'm okay with that. Because <laughs> I approve. Anyways. My, uh, my favorite football we... players are the tight ends. Do you I, not also, have a I also prefer sound effect? I also prefer the <clears throat> I also prefer the wide receivers. Nope. I got a drum roll. That's a drum roll. <laughs> I'm like, that's a drum roll. That's not a roof shot. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So yeah, the right. first one is a funny one. Did you find it? Hold on. Hold on. Where is it? It's here. There it is. But um, right. But um, tis. Okay, so the first of my picks is a funny one. Yeah, it's it's so inappropriate. But so it's someone cosplaying as Deadpool. I'm presuming this is a a con of some sort. Because Hayden Christensen is there, who played Anakin in the prequel movies, who eventually becomes Darth Vader. So you have to understand, if you saw the episode three film, you know that Anakin almost kills Padme, his wife. Mm. Fast forward to someone is in Deadpool cosplay... (laughs) It's so messed up. And he's standing in front of Anakin and he wants him to imitate. He's force choking him. So the actor's Hayden name Christian, is Hayden Christensen. So he has his hand stretched out. Like just, and, and you can tell kind of by the look on his face, he's not so, quite so sure about doing this, but I think it's yeah. hysterical. And the Deadpool cosplayer has a comic bubble above his head. <laughs> and it says, choke me like Padme. Oh, <laughs> and he's holding both of his hands up to his throat like he's being choked. Yeah. And if you know Deadpool, you know that he's pan and he's like down for anything. And so this is very right. definitely meant to be like this is this is, a, this is very uh, uh, a Deadpool <laughs> moment. But it, it does look like Hayden's like trying not to laugh. Well, like, he's, he's either trying not to says. laugh or he's like, I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> He's finding yeah, it funny. Maybe a bit of both. Yeah, no. It's, they they um, paid it's... for this <laughs> this shot with me. Yeah, maybe <laughs> that ridiculous. fifty dollar like photo op was totally worth it in my opinion. It's, right. it's for who? It's so wrong. <laughs> Took me like bad man. Oh. Yeah, no, it's um, it's so messy. But I just thought it was so goddamn funny. I was like, wow. All right. And then the the other one. Um, mm-hmm. So this was kind of mild. It's by at R E A L L U I S S E S, and there's some capitalizations in there. So I think it's supposed to be Re Al Lewis. Um. And it's just two cute pictures they posted. It says, finally beach day. I haven't felt like it in a long time, and it was pretty good. The back and forth was a bit bumpy, but in the end, it was all great. This bear is fully charged and ready for the week. Uh-huh. He's just a handsome dude. Like, pictures yeah. of him with his shirt off. He's very furry. Uh-huh. Uh, big bushy beard. He's just a handsome guy. Yeah. And it's like, yes. Yeah. We endorse people like, you know, doing selfies at the beach and just being like, hey, just hung out, you know. Although I will say that beach, ooh, lots of rocks. Yeah. It looks like he's in Valencia, which is Spain, I believe. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, um, but he said he was a handsome dude, and it was like, eh, give it, give him a shout out. Give him a shout. I yeah. liked it. Very nice. <sighs> Very sexy. All right, moving on That's into the arc. link. Close. Let's see anybody has more comments about the very cute cub. No. Spanish okay. cub. Um, it's, I'm just linking to a music video by Husky by the Geek. Husky uh, is known for doing uh, game covers uh, in kind of a rock and roll style. Um, mm. One of the major ones that he does is uh, for Final Fantasy XIV. And with the end of the last expansion, Endwalker to send it off, he decided to get 299 of his friends to create a melody. Oh my gosh. So, the Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker medley, medley with 300 musicians. Including YouTubers and voice actors from the actual game. So the voice actors who play Alphino and Alize, two of our, our, our main main characters or side characters, main characters of um, of Final Fantasy XIV. They're twins, um, but the voice actors actually sing as part mm. of this as well. So. Um, they're one of the streamers that I watch, uh, Garrett from Grinding Gear, uh, actually got a guitar part in it. Mm. So, uh, there's also like Marco Meatball and a whole bunch of other YouTubers as well. So, uh, it's really cool. He's got a whole bunch of these type of things, um, Throughout the years, uh, he did a uh, Welcome Back Soken, uh, which is the uh, head composer for the game, <laughs> Matsuhiro Soken. Uh, actually, during the pandemic, had uh, had cancer and beat it. And he announced it at a fan fest a couple of years ago. And in celebration, Husky got like 40 people together to do a welcome back soaking medley in a similar style so he's been doing the, these type of things uh, for for a while uh just check out his channel for a whole bunch of different things he doesn't do just final fantasy 14 but uh that i just really enjoy it mm. uh in addition um I actually need to link this because I just thought of this as it was long. I'm going to just link the entire things. One, while I was kind of like just sitting around, uh, just one day I just hit play on one of his playlists uh, to have in the background of my, my TV playing through my, my home pods for Husky. Uh, but one of the couple of the songs, um, he had a joint venture with a guy by the name of uh, that has the YouTube channel Studio Nintendo. And I realized this is my perfect type of man. Okay. Like body shape. Just, he's just one beautiful, beautiful person. Plus, he has a good voice. Hmm. And he also does video game covers, so here we are. Ah. Have a theme. It's, it's not because of that, it's just the fact that he's hot. <laughs> nice. So what I'm hearing is it's not about the talent. Oh, it is about I the mean, talent. talent. Part of it is about the talent. I was like, the hey, this project. guy does a, like when he was doing, uh, was when Husky was doing the cover of the 
uh, Shadowbringers theme, uh, he was the singer for that song. Oh. And I'm like, oh, drool. <laughs> One, uh, he rocks. <laughs> and two, he's, he's hot as fuck. So I'm like, you, you want my ideal perfect man. And here's the thing is, I'm okay with my not, not perfect. This is what I'm looking for. Hmm. Good to know. Well, not actively looking, but you know, I figured it out. You wouldn't turn him away if he knocked on your door. Oh no 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 no! no. I would invite him in. Got any? Got any music you want to share? <laughs> I don't know why they would knock on your door to ask that, but whatever. I'm just I'm I'm playing the fantasy out of my head. Can I blow your horn? Anyways, there's plenty of ways to contact us because I think that's the end of the show. Pop over to our website, comes out loud.com. Shoot us an email, comes out loud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail at 361 CLL Talk. That's 361 265 8255. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. That comes out loud, the appropriate place that you are. You can also join our entourage chat at bit.ly slash telegram dash col. You can all. Uh, also, uh, subscribe to our Google Calendar at bit.ly slash calendar dash col uh, to find out when we're planning and recording these shows. Keyword planning. Plans can change. <laughs> so keep an eye out. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's good. Uh, you can get various Kutramon, such as a made to be shirt. And where the bears are, or wherever the, whatever the blanks are saying, saying shirts, a hat, mug, you can get a specialist shirt, we're currently in, in hugging, belly rubbing, and kissing specialist shirts. Uh, some of those designs were designed by Smashy. You can find more of his work at tpublic.com slash users at Smashy the Bear. You can find all of our stuff at zazzlezazzle.com slash comes out loud. You can also come patron at patreon.com slash comes out loud or send us some cash at paypal.me slash comes out loud. Oh, we appreciate the donation. I think I might need a better mic. But it's, it's really old. It's, it's over a decade old. Uh, you can know. also find us on all the various podcasting platforms, Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, YouTube Podcasts. We have a podcast like YouTube, too. Uh, Amazon, Audible, etc. You can find me anywhere in the internet as Box Up, Box Puppy, Box Cub, Box something or other. Damon. Um, if you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me at theatercub79, that's T-H-E-A-T-R-E-C-U-B-7-9 on most favorite related sites or on Facebook. Or you can find me at pup underscore umber on Twitter or pup umber79 on Blue Sky. Those are not safe for work. If you wish to get in touch uh, for any safe for work stuff, you can go to DMAGamer79 on Twitter or TikTok. Gary? If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as GareBear73. And with that... Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.